Hey everyone, Dark and Creepy here. Welcome to my channel, Dark and Creepy, where we cover things all dark and creepy. Now you may notice that this is not a normal video. I have no scary story to tell you that I wrote. This is the in-between point when I'm writing a scary story and I want to give you guys some content and something you can scare, be afraid, or laugh at. And I will add my own commentary. For this first one, it's going to be very, very simple. We're going to be talking about ghosts and the science of ghosts. I have an article pulled up. It's called, actually labeled, The Science of Ghosts. And it's called, by under the name, Science News for Students, because it's essential to graduate and know about ghosts in college. And it is written by Catherine Hulick. The first sentence goes, A shadowy figure rushed through the door. Whew! Already I'm getting goosebumps. It had a skeletal body, surrounded by a white, blurry aura, recalls Dom. Dom, of course, being the name. The figure hovered and didn't seem to have a face. Dom, who prefers to use only his first name, kind of like I was saying before, had been fast asleep. Just 15 at the time. So he's a very young man, and he was terrified of what he saw. And he says, I only saw it for a second, he recalls. Now, he's a young adult who lives in the United Kingdom, but he still remembers the experience vividly. Because the ghost, not gonna lie here, was pretty good looking. That's what he said, not me. Just joking, that's what I said. But, you know, he was probably thinking at the time as he saw the ghost. All right. Now, later on, it says... On ghost hunting TV shows, people use scientific equipment to attempt to record or measure spirit activity. And numerous creepy photos and videos make it seem like ghosts exist. However, none of these offer good evidence for ghosts. Some are hoaxes. Probably a lot of them are hoaxes. Or a blur of the eye. Except, there are ghosts and they're watching you. They could be right behind you right now. And these hoaxes are supposedly created to fool people. The rest only prove that equipment sometimes can capture noise, images, or other signals that people didn't expect. And I'm just going to cut in right now. I know this is just about ghosts, but aliens. It's aliens out there doing this. I'm just telling you, everything always is aliens. Understand that. Ghosts are the least likely of many possible explanations. Of course they're the least likely. It's aliens. Now, not only are ghosts supposed to be able to do things that science says are impossible, such as turn invisible or pass through walls or watch you while you're sleeping from the window, but also scientists using reliable research methods have found zero evidence that ghosts exist. What scientists have discovered, though, are lots of reasons why people might feel they have had ghostly encounters. First one is you probably have a stalker that you don't know about. This is not what the article's saying, this is what I'm saying, but there is probably a stalker running around your house, you know, scurrying between the doorways. It's like, oh, yeah, you hear that crawling sometimes, those little, you think the house is settling? No, it's your stalker crawling around the house. So be careful. Heck, they could be right under your bed right now, or... or if you're at a desk or wherever you are, they're probably right around the corner sneaking little pics of you. So watch your back. If you do happen to come across them and you see them face to face, do not engage. Stalkers like to go for the very vital parts. Your eyes, your nose, your ears, and other areas of the body. Be careful. Their fingernails are usually unkept. So they're very sharp and dirty, which can lead to infections. But enough about stalkers, even though that could possibly be this explanation. We are going to get back to the ghostly encounters. Dreaming with your eyes open. Dom, the man who we talked about before, began having unusual experiences when he was eight or nine. He sees dead people. He would wake up unable to move. He researched what was happening to him, and he learned that science had a name for it. Sleep paralysis. 
This condition leaves someone feeling awake but paralyzed or frozen in place. He can't move or speak or breathe deeply. He may also see, hear, or feel figures or creatures that aren't really there. This is called a hallucination. No, this is called real life because there's ghosts coming right up on him. And you think it's a hallucination, but really, it's a ghost. Okay? It's coming. All right. So sometimes, Dom hallucinated that creatures were walking or sitting on him. Okay, the sitting part is a little weird, but let's go on. Other times, he heard screaming. He only saw something that one time as a teenager. Sleep paralysis happens when the brain messes up the process of falling asleep or waking. Usually, you only start dreaming after you're fully asleep, and you stop dreaming before you waken. Like, yep. I've never personally had this. Uh, I have normal dreams. But if I woke up, I can't move, and I see a demon sitting on my stomach, I'm probably going to literally crap myself right there. And that demon is probably going to be what? In tarnation, I am not going to be sitting on this thing any longer and scurry out the door. Or at least that's what I hope happens. Alright, to continue. Your brain usually turns this paralysis off before you wake up. But in sleep, paralysis, you wake up while it's still happening. I feel sorry for Dom, because if I was an 8-year-old going through sleep paralysis, it would be pretty Messy, that's all I can say. <clears throat> Crap myself again. Faces in the clouds. You don't have to experience sleep paralysis to sense things that aren't there. Have you ever felt your phone buzz? Then check to find there was no message? I do all the time, because I think I have friends, so I'm constantly checking my phone because I think it's buzzing, but then I notice I actually don't have any friends, and there's the problem. All right, so I understand what's saying here. Let's continue. Have you heard someone calling your name when no one was there? Have you seen a face or figure in a dark shadow? Heck, I see it all the time. It's my shadow. But there's other things. I got this one guy, I call him Reggie, kind of follows me around. I don't really know what he is, or I don't know. But Reggie, you watch your back now. Yeah. He's over there. Okay, these misperceptions also count as hallucinations, says David Smills. Reggie, uh, am I hallucinating you? Okay, he just ran away, but I don't know if that is right. And David Smells, he's a psychologist in England at Northumbria University in Newcastle upon Tyne. He thinks that just about everyone has such experiences. Most of us just ignore them, but some may turn to ghosts as the explanation. That's because it's a logical explanation. Like when anything goes wrong, it's ghosts. And if it's not ghosts, it's aliens. I'm telling you, it's them little green guys walking around your property. So this has kind of took a twist that I wasn't really expecting. But we haven't really talked so much about ghosts as we talk about... Sleep paralysis demons that are sitting on your stomach while you sleep. But what this is saying is that most ghosts, or sightings of ghosts, are misconceptions and hallucinations. Now, is this true? You never know. But I would just say, ghosts are hella creepy. They will follow you. They could do a lot of stuff to you. Like, who knows? If they, like this thing that says, ghosts can turn invisible... Well then, what am I doing in a shower? If a little ghost guy can be watching me from the corner. You know, like, that's really creepy to think about. Like, there could be a ghost right over there, and I don't even know. And I'm butt naked, trying to get dressed. And a little ghost with them pervy ghost eyes just watching me. It's like, okay, I'm trying to get dressed. Can you go somewhere else? That's what I'm saying. Ghosts could be real, could be not, but... They are really creepy if they are real, and who knows? It's left up to you. And I'm going to finish out this radio show. This was dark and creepy. Hope you don't get stalked or have sleep paralysis or demons sitting on your chest or... What is it? What else did we talk about? Little green men coming into your house, stalkers, 
all that good stuff. Hope you're nice and safe, and I hope you enjoyed the first talk show. This is Dark and Creepy, heading out with my sleep paralysis demon.